Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. So let's finish on our chapter. It says, Inca roads create a network across different types of land. Using stone and primitive tools, Mita workers followed the land's natural terrain. They chiseled stone on a, out of mountain sides, building tunnels to connect cities from one end of the empire to the other. They laid steps up rocky cliffs. They stacked stones and floating reeds to form castways over marshlands. Their rope built bridges, probably the first suspension bridges in the world, spanned deep valleys and rivers along the way. They built low stone walls to keep desert sands from covering the flat, wide coastal roads. They edged the rounds, the roads with stone gutters to prevent prevent flooding. They even built tambus or inns for travelers. Thousands of workers maintained the empire's 24,000 miles of road. Wow. The government primarily used the roads. Armies patrolled the roads, making sure commerce did not travel along them without permission. Because the Inca had no written language, the empire kept in touch with his government through swift-footed messengers. The empire's messengers traveled along the empire carrying quepes. These knotted ropes, ropes contain records of everything from population figures to troop numbers to the sizes of animal herds. The messengers also memorized messages and transferred them, tra transferred them orally from one person to another. They used relay stations that were set up about every mile along the roads. As one messenger approached another, he blew into a cockshell shell tar uh, trumpet, alerting the next messenger to be ready to run. The runner told his mes message to the next as the, as the two ran side by side. In this way, multiple messengers carried the same message from station to station across, from, across many miles. In fact, these highly trained sprinters traveled more than 100 miles in a single day in order to deliver messages. In this land of four quarters, all roads led to Kutso. So this is a math challenge. <laughs> Calculating time. Are you guys ready, boys and girls? It says about 2,300 miles between the present day city of Cuanto, Ecuador and Santiago, Chile. Today, it takes about five hours to fly from one another, from one to another. If Inca messengers travel 100 miles a day, approximately how many days would it take them to deliver a message from Cuanto to San Diego? So, boys and girls, if you think you know this answer, you calculate it, write it down in your journal. <laughs> so, this is our lesson wrap-up. So, remember, boys and girls, at the beginning of our lesson, before we even read our story, we had our Chapter 10 big question. So, now after reading it, we should be able to answer it. So, what are the factors, what factors contributed to the Inca Empire's becoming the largest pre-Columbian empire? So, after reading, we were able to realize that the Simpa Inca conquered other groups, making the empire larger and more powerful. Commoners cultivated crops, the government had a tribute system, and the empire had an advanced road system, all contributing to the wealth and success of the empire. So not only they had a strong, they had a strong, strong, strong leader, which was the Sampa Inca, and he was strong and he conquered all the other groups. And then the commoners, like I said, they all had a job. They either worked in the army, they either were mining, they cultivated crops, so they all had assignments. The government had that tribute system, you remember, with the Sampa Inca and the whole organization. And remember, they had the largest pre-Columbian um, road system. So these are all factors, things that were um, contributed to, things that happened that helped to make them so successful in their empire. So, boys and girls, our word work. So we're going to take litter, which is one of our vocabulary words, and we know that litter is a word with multiple meanings. So what we're going to do when we come back in our next video is we're going to um, find which meaning best fits the sentence. So we're going to stop right here and come back to finish our word work um, assignment.